Hey guys, this is Feffy from Cooking with Feffy, and today we are making okra soup. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't need to miss any of my videos. The famous slimy vegetable. <laughs> I know many of you guys do not like it, but trust me, when you make it in soup, it's just so different. Today I'm making my okra soup with calf's tail, chicken, and salt beef. Yummy, 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 salt beef. And I also use tire blood, which is basically something like spinach, but just from Suriname. <laughs> you can go wild with the meats and the fish. You can put crab, you can put fish, you can put anything actually once your okra is in there. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys try it out. Yes, try it out, taste it. Let me know how it goes. Comment below and send me a picture. Ciao! So you're gonna need three liters of water and then six pieces of chicken. What I did was use three big drumsticks and cut them in half. But you can also use a chicken leg and cut those in three pieces. You wanna wash it with some lemon juice, rinse it, and add that to your pot. Next, I'm gonna use some calf's tail. You can also use ox tail, but this is some smoked calf's tail, which I boiled beforehand to remove all that excess salt. Now you're going to add the salt beef. The salt beef is the same. Slice it up, boil it to remove the excess salt and add it to your pot. And of course, it's up to you. You can add as much meats as you want. Just remember to add some more water so it's still a soup. <laughs> then you're going to use one small onion chopped and three garlic cloves chopped. Next up, we have some celery. I used two celery sticks and I chopped it up. Use a half a tomato, half a small tomato, chop it up and add it to your soup. Then you're gonna add a Maggi cube. I decided to put one Maggi cube first so I could see how salty it becomes. And you can always add the extra Maggi cube later or just some salt. After you taste the salt, of course, because you don't wanna add too much. Then I'm gonna add five allspice. That's piment coral and two bay leaves, laulier blood. Don't forget to add some black pepper and bring this to a boil. So when it's boiling and the meats are cooked, you want to taste the salt. If it needs more salt, you can either choose the Maggi cube or salt, like I said. And then what you're gonna do next is add your okra. So as you can see, I sliced it up, not too thin, not too thick, just perfect. <laughs> I used about 12 to 15 okras here, small okras. And you're gonna add that to the soup. And you're gonna bring that to a boil. So leave it cook about five minutes on high fire. Look at that goodness. When the okra is soft, you want to add your tire blood. What I did was use a couple of bundles of tire blood. I folded it up and I sliced it, as you can see here. You're going to add that to the soup and then you're going to leave that cook for another 5 to 10 minutes. And when that's done, you're going to notice that the greens has melted a bit. The soup is always amazing with some rice. I know in some cultures you don't eat rice with your soup, <laughs> but we do. <laughs> It makes the soup more filling, especially okra soup. The broth is amazing. You add your rice and you pour your soup into there. And of course, what's next? You enjoy it. Look at that. And remember, you can add fish to your soup. It gives it an amazing flavor. Of course, it depends what kind of fish. I would go for varmavis or some type of smoked fish or next time maybe even crab crab is the bomb <laughs> but here's my okra soup i hope you guys like it don't forget don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment below if you like okra soup if you're gonna try it out and how it turned out thank you so much for watching and see you by my next video bye guys